Although Germany was divided into two after World War II, West Germany did very well in recovering its strength. In the 1960s and 1970s, it had the ability to independently develop advanced high-tech equipment such as aircraft and tanks. In the 1970s and 1980s, stealth aircraft gradually became a hot topic, and West Germany did not want to fall behind. They explored stealth technology and developed the MBB Firefly fighter for technical demonstrations. West Germany became interested in stealth aircraft in the 1970s. In 1981, the West German Air Force signed a contract with Messerschmitt Buchablohm, MBB, to develop an aircraft with stealth capabilities. However, the German Air Force had its own unique idea. They hoped to build a fighter jet in the future that completely abandoned close combat capabilities and only used air-to-air -air missiles for combat. This would greatly reduce the complexity of the fighter and allow for the mass production of stealth fighters at a very low cost. This type of fighter was also called a medium-range missile fighter MRMF. The stealth design of the Firefly fighter has many similarities to the F-117, but the two are not directly related. The similar appearance is purely a coincidence, as everyone follows the same principles. German designers also developed software specifically for calculating radar reflection data, and the aircraft also adopted a polygonal design with a focus on triangles. The Firefly aircraft has a rhombus-shaped cross-section, a sharp nose, and a cockpit made of flat panels. The triangular wings have a swept-back leading edge and are equipped with ailerons. The aircraft does not have horizontal tail wings, only a single vertical tail, and a three-point landing gear under the fuselage. The fighter is expected to be powered by a single engine buried in the fuselage, with the air intake located below the cockpit in a triangular shape. The Germans had a clear purpose for this project, which was to explore technology. They spent about $4.5 million in total and built four different sized models, including a 1 minute and 3.5 seconds model for low-speed aerodynamic testing, a 120 model for supersonic aerodynamic testing, a full-size radar reflection test model, and a 3-4 scale experimental model. Although they did not build a prototype capable of normal flight, the three-quarter scale model was equipped with a cockpit that could accommodate a pilot for simulated control. This model simulated the takeoff and landing processes of low-speed flight in a wind tunnel laboratory, which was quite successful. The German wind tunnel experiments took place between 1985 and 1987. The Americans became aware of the Firefly project in 1987 and were very surprised, as the Firefly and the F-117 were so similar. However, after a thorough investigation, the Americans also admitted that it was purely a coincidence. Both parties had kept their projects highly confidential, so the possibility of leaks was ruled out. However, the Firefly project was terminated in 1987 for reasons that are not clear. Some articles say it was due to American interference, but it is likely that other factors were involved. Although Germany had a good technical foundation, independent development of stealth fighters remained very difficult. Looking at the current global situation, there are only a few mature models, and the complete abandonment of combat capabilities by the Firefly was also inappropriate. To change this would be almost like starting over. From a technological exploration perspective, it basically achieved the project's expectations. Germany may have applied some of the technology to the development of the Typhoon fighter. The three-quarters scale model of the Firefly was exhibited in the Berlin Military History Museum in 1999.